All right. Hey, I wanted to do this video because I received a comment recently uh, on another video where a person was frustrated that there were so many tools out there that were expensive to use. And I think what happens is if you're trying to start a blog and you're new, it can be very overwhelming as you do your research and you start to add up all of the costs of all these tools that you think that you need to use. And I'm here to tell you that even though I think tools make things much easier and much faster, uh, meaning you can get your blog spun up faster, get more posts out there, rank faster, and hopefully at some point, you know, get ads on your blog or sell affiliate related products, which can earn you some money. I also realize, you know, people are trying to watch their watch their dollars right now. Everything's very expensive with inflation. So um, I just felt bad uh, that uh, this person was so frustrated. So that's why I'm doing this video. Uh, if hopefully this person is watching, it's for them. But I think there's something here that you can learn from as well. So the very first thing I want to talk about is, you know, what tools are free for cr creating blog posts? Uh, it goes without saying. ChatGPT is available. Uh, it's free. You can write in the 3.5 language model. Uh, it's probably... Uh, going to do a really good job for informational type blog posts, which is sort of the bread and butter of a new blog. So you've got ChatGPT you can use. Another newcomer is from Anthropic. And Anthropic has released something called Claude, uh, Claude.ai. And the cool thing about Claude is I think it writes some really great blog posts and it's a conversational chat bot. So you can prompt it the same way that you prompt chat GPT. And so it's an option uh, that you can use for writing blog posts uh, and you don't have to, to buy anything. Uh, if I was going to do this, you know, with no cost out of my pocket, I would consider getting this, uh, getting harpa.ai. It's a Chrome extension. It has a bunch of different uh, marketing and SEO capabilities. So you can extract and research uh, SEO keywords. You can get keyword reports, create SEO content plans, get a keyword strategy generator. So It'll do SEO audits to improve uh, EEAT, which is, you know, expertise and authority. Uh, it'll show you how to outrank competition with an outrank SEO article. So this is a, a free browser extension, and it gives you lots of capabilities. Um, again, when you're using free tools, you might have to pull out uh, Google Sheets and start taking some notes and you know, putting the keywords together for an article and that kind of thing. It won't happen as automatically as it would if you were using, uh, you know, some pre-made softwares that are out there. Uh, but you can do it for free. Uh, you just have to uh, put together the right resources and develop your own workflow. So you need to find keywords to write about. Uh, I don't know who this guy is, but he does have a video about how to find long tail keywords uh, that you can rank for in Google search. And basically, it's just me talking about how to use Google Autocomplete to find long tail keywords. Again, you know, I keep reiterating long tail keywords are the bread and butter for, for new blogs with no domain authority, these informational types of blog posts. So you can do that just by using Google and Google Autocomplete and looking at other things like people also ask uh, that Google uh, presents to you. So there's lots of ways to uh, find these uh, keywords that you can write about. So one of the big costs, of course, is hosting and uh, what content management system are you going to use? Now, most people gravitate toward WordPress. Uh, and WordPress, of course, is free, and you can usually get an implementation through whoever you're doing your uh, hosting with. Now, I happen to prefer to write my blog posts in static HTML, uh, and I use a free tool. It's a tool called Publii, 
And it's an open source tool, and it's got a great content management system for blogging with all of the SEO features that you need uh, to make sure you've got a crafted post that's going to be SEO friendly. Uh, the cool thing about static HTML is it's super fast. It's much faster than most WordPress sites because with WordPress, everything is in a database. So you're making lots of database calls. Uh, everything that you have added on top of WordPress, which would be, you know, the, the various plugins and so on, are other, those are all things that add to the overhead and can slow down a website. And with static HTML, and JavaScript and CSS done client side, you just aren't going to run into those kinds of issues. Uh, so it's so Google really loves fast websites. And the thing that's very critical is you need a fast website because uh, you know probably half of the people that are viewing your blog are on some kind of mobile device. So uh, Publii is free. I like it. I use it. I do have videos on it that you can watch. Now, hosting can get really expensive. Now, I host my blogs on Netlify. Netlify is free. So, and here's what I mean. So the, this, this is a, typically Netlify is used by developers for uh, working on projects and spinning up different apps and so on. But it can also be just used for plain website hosting. And Netlify is really cool because they let you use a custom domain name on the free account. So when you go to the pricing page, you can see it's got a starter package. It's $0 to get started. And it has a global CDN. So it has a you know, great content delivery network. So everything's very speedy, very fast. Uh, and you get 100 gigabytes of bandwidth per month. So if you've got a single blog or maybe two blogs, um, we're talking, you know, 100 gigabytes of bandwidth. That's quite a bit of data that you can push. And because you're going to be using Publii or maybe some other static HTML generator of your choice, uh, your file sizes are going to be immensely smaller than what you're dealing with in WordPress. So for 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, you know, we could be talking 10 to 20,000 unique visits per month for a site. Uh, of course, you'd love to have more than that, right? You'd like to have 100,000 unique visits a month. And if you do, you can just move up to a paid plan at $19 per month with a whole terabyte worth of bandwidth, which is a ton of bandwidth. Chances are, I want you to build sites that get that kind of bandwidth usage per month. I hope you do, but it's very uncommon. <laughs> so for blogs, uh, so, um, you know, and at $19 per month, that's still cheaper than most dedicated WordPress hosting. So Netlify is just a great way to get started. If you need free hosting to start, uh, you want to apply a domain name, a custom domain name of your choice. Again, I've got uh, videos on this that you can watch. Um, now, if you have $100 that you can spend on your website, this is what I would suggest, suggest that you do. If there are, two, there are two tools that I really love. One is Low Fruits, and the cool thing about Low Fruits is it's a really great tool at finding uh, informational type blog posts and underserved topics. And it's really easy to determine which ones may be easiest for you to rank for. Now, I'm not gonna go into a Low Fruits tutorial here. I do have other Low Fruits videos, so please go check those out. In fact, I'll have links in the description to all this stuff that I'm talking about today. Um, but the bottom line is, for $25, you can get 2,000 credits in Low Fruits. So every time you ask Low Fruits to analyze a potential keyword, that's a credit. So I bought 2,000 credits to start. I have two blogs. One is a new blog, and I've already found 200 keywords 
that I can write blog posts about that have a high chance of ranking because they're informational and they don't have a lot of competition. I found plenty for my fly fishing blog that I've mentioned in my other videos about fly fishing. Uh, and, it, and so far out of the 2,000 credits, I've only used 600. And a large chunk of those credits was used just to spin up some stuff for some different videos too uh, that weren't even for any of my blogs. So I guess my point is I've got 1,400 credits left. It's going to take me a long time to use them. So that's $25 of your budget. The other piece of your budget, I would apply that, you know, if you had $100 to spend, is Neuron Writer. So again, I have plenty of Neuron Writer videos that you can go take a look at. But Neuron Writer is an SEO optimization tool. It is a lifetime deal at AppSumo. You can get in for as low as $69. And it will do, at, at the $69 level, um, you can do 25 content analysis queries per month. So a content analysis query is where you would take your keyword, like, is fly fishing boring? You drop that in and do a content analysis on that if you think that's a keyword you want to rank for if you were writing about fly fishing. Um, and then you can write your post in ChatGPT or Claude.ai Put it into Neuron Writer. Neuron Writer will help you optimize that post so you can outrank uh, the other uh, top 10 websites that are listed for that particular long tail keyword in the Google SERPs. So it's a great way to, you know, jumpstart blog posts, especially if you're a brand new domain. Lots of people love Neuron Writer. I've been using it for well over a year. Um, it's a great tool, and at $69, it's a lifetime deal. So every month, you're going to get 25 content analysis queries. And it does do some AI writing as well. So if you didn't want to use ChatGPT or Claude, if you wanted to have um, Neuron Writer create some content for you, you'd even get uh, 15,000 AI credits per month as well on the tool. So... Um, you know, 70 and 25, you're right in the ballpark of, uh, you know, 100 bucks. And all you'd need to do is buy a domain name. You could host it at Netlify. You could create the blog posts with Publi. Uh, you could use ChatGPT, Claude, and Har Harpa AI to help you out with some SEO uh, types of functions, and you'd be all set. So there are ways to do this uh, very inexpensively. It's a good way to get your feet wet to see if you even like blogging uh, because it is possible to spend quite a bit of money doing this uh, if you don't think carefully about where you're spending your funds. So again, don't let um, the cost of all the different tools that you hear about stop you from getting started. There are ways around it. I just showed you how to do it. Um, and that's it. I hope this has been helpful. I'd love to have you subscribe, um, and until next time, take care.